Hey guys, Doug here. So I want to talk about my Auto Burns automatic torch here. So these are very unique little devices. This can run on gasoline or kerosene. This particular one's gasoline. So you take the plug out of the bottom here, you fill it up with about three quarters full of gasoline. Lighting it is a pretty scary adventure. You literally set it on fire. This cup here is the starting cup. So basically you pour your gasoline down into this, into the line, and you fill that up with your gasoline or your kerosene. And then you just take a torch and you light it on fire. The fire literally burns underneath here, setting this entire thing on fire. It just The fire comes over. It's a, a crazy experience. What it does, though, is it preheats this entire nozzle until it reaches the ignition temperature of the gasoline, which basically means it will auto-ignite. So you keep this closed, and you start that up burning. While that's burning, you loosen up your locking screw here on your pumper. And once that's loosened, you have a piston that can come out. And there is a seal on the bottom of that. So let me see if I can show you here real quick. So I'm taking apart the little pump housing. And then there is a leather seal in here I was able to refurbish with some oil uh, to basically bring it back. It's got a little taper washer in here. You tighten this down. And then there's a little uh, tip or needle point at the top here. It's a needle valve for tapered seat that seats in the bottom here to seal the pressure off. And there's just a little spring here. This particular one, like I said, is threaded. And that's what allows you to lock that taper seat in. The very bottom of this actual reservoir here is a check valve assembly. And this check valve sits in the bottom of the hole here. And as you put pressure in, it moves the check valve to let pressure in but not out of the reservoir. So I'll put this all back together. We'll get the piston back in. Basically, at this point, you just pump it up. And what you're doing is you're taking the gas fumes and you're kind of aerating them inside because you're pumping down through the fluid and pumping up the gas fumes and you're pressurizing this vessel. So you give it a few pumps to pressurize it up. A whole while, this has been burning. The gasoline will actually burn off at the time this reached the ignition temperature. At this point, you slowly start opening up your gas feed valve. And this will start putting gas pressurized gasoline gas fumes into this chamber and because it's hot enough to auto ignite it'll ignite and you'll get start getting a yellowish blue torch out the tip or a flame out the tip and as you keep loosening this you'll get bluer and bluer flames you get more oxygen mixed in with the fuel and you get a perfect complete burn you should get no soot coming out and then now your torch <coughs> excuse me is on and running so you may wonder what <coughs> this little uh, notch here on the top is for that is for a soldering iron so there's a little hook that would normally go here and then you have a metal rod to come down and your mass or basically a large copper slug would be on the end here getting heated by the blowtorch. And that's how you would do body work back in the day with leaded solder on the body parts before you had all the Bondo and stuff today. And then these little screws here were used for um, in the manufacturing process for drilling out the orifices because the gas has to come up, go through this complex passage through this needle valve and then come out here to the feet on the front of it. So that is my auto burns. Now, before we go, you may wonder if this name sounds familiar. This became a company which is still in existence today called burns o -Matic. And that's all your modern torches you see today where the gas is pressurized on its own and you don't need this fancy apparatus to keep it running as well as modern spark ignition. You don't need to reach the audio ignition temperatures with these little uh, flame bowls to heat it up. They're pretty cool. Really neat to see. An awesome collection. Uh, addition to the collection. Thanks for watching.